because they would roll off and close now the stomata won't be able to allow transpiration further and that's why water loss will be stopped no more water loss can occur that's how water stress can be or you know the plant can be saved or protected from water loss fine that's how the bulliform cells are going to be very very helpful during water stress conditions to the plant so what you need to remember see when there is sufficient amount of water in the surrounding of a monocot plant bulliform cells will absorb water they would remain turgid and allow the leaf to remain open okay and allow transpiration to occur but whenever there is water stress or water is not sufficient in the surrounding of the plant bulliform cells will lose water due to which they will become flaccid because they would become flaccid the you know uh, the the walls of the bulliform cells will shrink that's why the leaves will be rolled off and transpiration will be stopped that's how the plant will be saved from water stress conditions is it clear fine this is very important for your exam that's why you need to be very clear about it all right now moving so let us read it out as well once in grasses some cells in the upper epidermis become large empty and colorless called bulliform cells they help in rolling off leaves during drought or lack of water bulliform cells remain filled up with water and remain turgid during favorable condition these keeps the leaves straightened whereas during a uh, water stress they lose water and become flaccid which makes the leaf curl inward to minimize water loss all right now regarding mesophyll cells are oval or rounded and not differentiated unlike in case of dicot leaf they are enriched with chloroplast and carry out photosynthesis that's it finally vascular bundles The vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheath cells as usual just like the dicot leaf and are closed and conjoined again similar to the dicot leaf xylem lies towards upper epidermis and phloem towards lower epidermis so everything is same just one very important difference is that all vascular bundles are similar in size in monocot leaf now why would that happen see in case of monocot leaf you very well know that monocot leaves possess parallel venation in parallel venation all the veins will be similar right they would not be thick or thin or differential they will all be similar and hence they will all be containing similar you know similar sized vascular bundles there will no uh, there will be no difference in the size of the vascular bundles as such as the veins themselves will be similar all right so this is the major difference you should remember in dicot leaf the according to the veins being thick or thin the size of the vascular bundles will vary whereas in monocot leaf because all the veins are similar in thickness that's why all the vascular bundles will also be similar in size fine so this is all about anatomy of leaf I hope all of you are clear about it. In the next class, we are going to start a very, very important topic, and that is secondary growth in dicot plants. Till then, study well. Thank you.